Hello, and welcome to Breathworks with Joy. Today, I thought I'd share a few asanas, postures that help support the digestive system to kind of activate those digestive juices, the agony that resides within the abdomen. And there is this quote from Hippocrates that says, bad digestion is the root of all evil. Wow, bad digestion is the root of all evil. Well, given that statement, I hope it is my intent that these poses can be of great benefit. So let's just jump on in. We're gonna come into constructive rest on our back. I do have one block as a prop that you may or may not choose to use, but as we come onto our backs in constructive rest, we're just going to allow the, the legs to kind of just be in a neutral position here with the ankles, knees, and hips aligned, and from the hips to the shoulders and the head resting, let's just bring our hands to our abdomen. And the intention here is just to begin to notice the relationship between your breath and your abdomen. Do you feel the abdomen respond as you breathe in and as you breathe out? And if you don't quite feel any movement in this region of the body, let's bring a little bit more attention, directing the breath more deliberately all the way down so that it moves from the chest through the rib cage down into the abdomen in a 360 degree circumference. And then as we exhale, beginning to activate, participating with the breath as we draw the tissue behind the navel in towards the core of the body and then back towards the spine. So at the completion of the breath, you can even squeeze out a little bit more feeling your abdominal cavity kind of hollow out and then softening the abdomen to receive the next inhalation and that's where I'm going to invite us to bring our dristi our gaze our attention as we do one more cycle breathing in filling up the whole abdominal cavity. And then as we exhale, once again, drawing all the tissue around the navel center in towards the core, back towards the spine. And at the completion of the breath, drawing it up and underneath the rib cage as we hollow out the abdominal cavity. Sweet. From here, we're going to bring our thighs up into our abdomen, up an asana, as we allow the weight of our hands just to sink onto our shins, our shins into our thighs, and our thighs into our bellies. I kind of use the analogy of closing an oven door. So we're closing the door here, trying to stimulate a little bit more heat into this region of the body. Once again, trying to ignite the, the flame, the inner flame. The agni, the digestive juices, stimulating that metabolic response. And then I'm gonna bring my hands over to my right thigh. As I keep my right thigh compressed into my abdomen, I'm going to extend my left leg up towards the sky hug the legs towards the midline of the body, and then I'm gonna to begin to lower my left leg so that it hovers above the floor at whatever degree is appropriate for your body. Yeah, if you have any sensitivity in your lower back, it might be a little higher than mine is. And then I'm going to lift my shoulder blades off the ground, gazing down towards my navel center. The hands may remain on the shin or they may extend out and from here, we're going to do breath of fire, rapidly inhaling and exhaling through the nose for 30 counts. Here we go. Ten. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the air out. Hug the right thigh back into the abdomen as we let the left heel connect to the ground and really just inviting that compression of the thigh into the ascending colon. Full breath in and out here, softening the heads of the shoulders back, the weight of your skull. And on the completion, the full completion of your next exhale, as you hollow out the abdominal cavity, you're going to slide that left heel back in and once again return to Apanasana. I'm going to bring my hands over to my left shin now, and I'm going to repeat this sequence on this side. So, right leg is going to extend up, hug the inner thighs towards the midline of the body as that left thigh releases into the abdomen and begin to slowly lower that right leg all the way down to whatever degree is appropriate for you today. Take a deep breath in, lifting the shoulder blades off the ground. The head is nice and light as we gaze towards the abdomen. And here we go for our second round of breath of fire. Once again, hands can be on the shin, they can extend out. If needed, maybe one hand behind the base of your skull. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Full exhale. Hug that left thigh now into the abdomen as that right heel connects to the ground. The head is heavy on the floor, and we're compressing into the descending colon now. Soften the shoulders. Relaxing the jaw, the backs of the eyes. And last cycle of breath here. Hugging the right thigh in back into Apanasana. From here, I'm going to place my hands onto my knees and just allow my feet to release to the floor so that my ankles are underneath my knees. My knees are in line with my hips. Hips in line with my shoulders, shoulders in line with my ears. My hands are going to come by my side as I now move into our bridge pose. So anchoring into the bottoms of the feet, as we pin the shoulders back, we begin to draw those hips up, outer thighs lifting towards the sky. And once the shoulders are pinned, the chin is slightly, ever so slightly down. We're going to lift our arms up. And on the exhale, rolling through the spine at one vertebra at a time. Once the sacrum at the base of the spine is connected to the floor, the arms can release back down. And let's repeat that. Inhaling as we lift. Exhaling here. Inhaling to extend the arms up. Exhaling is to slowly roll down. And one more. We're going to go up one more time, but this time we're going to hold it for 30 seconds. So we're going to inhale up. Pin those shoulders back, and this time I'm going to walk the shoulders towards one another. Maybe the hands move to the inside of the ankles. The eyes can softly close. Focusing on the breath, once again, allowing the abdomen to expand. Exhaling, navel draws in. And because of the shape of the body, it's going to feel different. Moving that breath from the belly all the way up into the chest cavity. Let's take those arms back up to help bring us out of the pose as we slowly exhale and lower one vertebra 
at a time back down onto the sacrum. And then releasing the hands down. Take one breath in and out here. From here, we're going to bring our block, if you're going to use it. And I'm going to wedge it like a sandwich right between my legs, really helping to support the engagement of the core musculature. And I'm going to bring my thighs up and I'm going to bring my arms into a cactus. If this cactus position doesn't work for you for whatever reason, maybe the arms extend out into a T. So, just like we might wring out a towel, we're going to wring out our abdomen as we also massage those organs. So we're going to hug that block in. I'm going to exhale my knees up and over to the right elbow. My head stays neutral. And then I'm going to inhale using the strength component of the breath to bring the legs back center. Then exhaling as I draw my knees up on the diagonal towards my left elbow. And inhale. Again, working with the ascending colon and the descending colon. To help bring about peristalsis, right? So we want that ways to be able to flow freely. Exhale, knees up and over to the right elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, up and over to the other side. Inhale. Now this time, as I exhale up and over to the right, I am going to sustain this pose for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to let my whole lower body just release with gravity into the ground. From here, if you choose to turn your head away from your knees, that's optional. Really encouraging the back of the shoulders to really kind of surrender into the floor. Focusing back again at the navel center as we breathe in. Allowing that breath to drop down, expand. And then as we exhale, the tissue behind the navel drawing in towards the core and then back towards the spine. And then at the completion of the exhale, kind of allowing whatever is left to kind of move up and underneath the rib cage hollowing out the abdominal cavity. Last cycle of breath here. And then use the inhale once again to use be the strength component of the breath to bring the legs back center. And now we're gonna reverse it, taking the legs up and over to the left, up on the diagonal. Pinning the opposite shoulder down and back. The head can remain neutral. It can turn away from the knees to continue that twist all the way up into the cervical spine. But once again, that focus, our drifty, returns back down to the navel center as we allow the weight of gravity just to take the legs, the force of gravity, take the weight of the legs and release them into the floor. I still have that block between my thighs, so my top leg is resting on that block. Dropping the breath down into the abdomen. And then as we exhale, drawing all of the tissue around the navel center in towards the core, back towards the spine, and then slightly up and underneath the rib cage to get all of that excess waste, that which is no longer serving us, serving our body. And one more cycle of breath here. Completion of your exhale. Inhale, bring those legs back center on the inhale. Removing the block now, we're going to take Apanasana. 
And I'm gonna make myself into a little ball as I bring my head up to touch my knees. And then inhaling down, I'm gonna extend my legs straight out from my pelvis. And then I'm gonna interlace my hands, extend them up to the sky. Draw the heads of my shoulders back and then reaching the arms overhead. Take one nice long stretch. And then on the exhale, the arms can release out to the side at a V shape as the legs turn out. And now we come into our final pose of Shavasana. A time to invite the body to come into that state of rest and digest. Letting the body breathe you now. As we also invite all of the muscles of the body to soften. Just giving the weight of your body over into the support of the floor. An act of serenity. And staying here for as long or as little as you have time for today. So as we come into the holiday season, we are taking in not only food, but a lot of stimulus. And we want to be able to digest what it is that we take into our system, into our minds, into our hearts use what is needed and release and let go of that which is not of service. So I hope these poses will help be of benefit and I wish you a blessed day. Om Shanti. Peace be with you.